Oh, looks like I could have hit these things as well. And where the hell's the doctor? Why the hell, out of everything that I've been doing thus far, all of a sudden, someone's alive? Uh, go to the control room. Might be needed sometime. Oh, I know the bullets are still going to be needed, but no, I, I don't. Like, I don't care. I'm sure I'm not going to just all of a sudden die because I wasted some bullets. some of those Haiti things already and they're completely different from what you don't get it not long ago an alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team meaning what exactly by the time alpha team arrived something had literally torn the survivor to shreds but he wasn't quite dead the bio scanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation an anomaly that's why the big shots ordered them to recover the specimen for analysts back at HQ what they found was something nobody expected. Both Castor and Pollux flourishing in harmony. The two viral agents had twisted together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new. Wait, are you saying that that thing out there is me? Oh my god. Where did it go? How the hell did it get loose? I knew it. Shit. I can't stay here. Boy! Listen, I'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad. Then I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! But there isn't any other way. Go on, get out of here! Boy. I you don't know if that's true or not. I have to reach the helipad immediately. I mean, dude's still alive, so he could get bigger. You never know. Researcher log. Like a hunter stalking. 
walks its prey. I've never seen an OBE like this one. It easily eliminated a small contingent of Hades, crushing them as if they were mere insects. That's an unpleasant reality for a non-battle-hardened researcher like me. The only thing I can do now is head for the dam's self-destruct mechanism. Drag that fucking freak with me to hell. This is the last voice recording of Dr. Sarton. So fiercely patriotic to his nation that he was willing to sacrifice himself in vain to ensure his country a brighter future. Um, what's my mission besides the helipad? Go to the helipad! I can't believe that horrible creature would live. I have to reach the helipad immediately before this effing dam will blow out. It's a weird choice of words. Pad. <laughs> he said it was right over there. There's a, a locked door. Maybe he said it was over here, but the door is locked, so... Holy man. Okay, I thought I was going backwards, but no, I'm actually going forwards. Explosive diarrhea going around here.
That was strange. <laughs> My gosh. Survive until the elevator arrives. Sure. Oh, am I dead? Oh my gosh, really? One hit and I'm dead? After narrowly surviving his last confrontation with the monster who was one special engine Liev, Raven finally reaches the rooftop of the dam where he prepares to contact Sandman. Once the self-destruct device is initiated, he won't have long before the entire edifice explodes into a thousand pieces. 
Contact Sandman. Sandman. Oh, man. I know I'm going to have to fight that thing again. Major, I'm on the roof of the dam. The Citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's Fubar. No survivors. Fubar? Oh. No. There's the tyrant. There's no way. I thought I got rid of you. Oh my god, I get stuck on the body. Please stop running. I I don't understand how you're supposed to hit him if he's constantly running at you. Mouth with the beak. Sure, I equipped the damn thing. The pole was in my way. The pole.
are you butthole? Equip? I don't know if I have it equipped! What is this? What is that? Is that from my shotgun? Wait, he's still standing even though he has no head. <laughs> oh, that was worth it.
God, my hands are sweating like hell. Nice one, kid. You already put that shit hawk in a fucking coma. Major! Major! It's hard to believe. I didn't think Leave could get any nastier than he already was. He's still alive! Come on, we need to get out of here. The dam's gonna blow. Right, we better hurry. Hayden! The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. What in the hell? Why'd you drug me, man? Where? Oh no. Sorry to disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. What? Always did that to you. That fucking guy! Marg! Uh, 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 don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! They turned me into this freak! The antidote! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! You all right? Did it work? <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> you bastard! You remember me? You, you mass murdering piece of shit! <laughs> mass murdering one person? <laughs> what? Who the hell are you? Drop your gun right now! You fucker! You killed her! Why? What did my baby ever do to you? Hey, whoa, whoa, calm down. Just shoot the explosives right next to them. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No, it's not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this, this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? Huh? Oh, right. He, he did go around killing I people. No, he, that was right. I, I take back my laughter. Now, I suggest you get the fuck out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Let's stand down. It's you, isn't it? Samuel. How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know is that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. No way. She was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck, baby. While you just stood by and watched me die. Wow. That's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! So, baby, are we really gonna argue over semantics? 
Just look at yourself. You're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want. Shut up! That's all you ever want. Shut the fuck up! Just shut your mouth. Samuel, I. Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word! These people know everything about you. Fight it, Samuel! They used you for their advantage. No! They this isn't them. real! You She's dead! Any property. Don't listen to her, Samuel! The moment you were born! Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah! I must fart! Oh, that made me jump. Okay. The story wasn't resolved. What the... F, dude. WTF? black guy was trying to find uh, Mr. Sandman because he ended up killing Samuel's wife and a bunch of other people. Samuel was trying to get to probably the lab in order to get the the cure for whatever it is the doctor hit him with when he got caught, which doesn't make sense because he already had something in him when he was in the chopper in the beginning of the game, because there's no way he would have survived gunshot wounds and a helicopter crash. And Raven was just doing his job. was intense for sure. Uh, quote the Raven Nevermore. I was talking with someone about Ravens earlier today. Well, the the bald dude with the scar on his face, he his code name was Raven. But yeah, the, the freaking games are awesome. The puzzles are, are really good. The gameplay is amazing. All of the freaking Easter eggs were freaking cool as hell. Let me write all of this down. Yeah, the story was really cool. The enemies were awesome. UI, like everything about the game was really good. Sorry if all that ripping was loud. Any chance of me playing Half-Life Alex? I don't own VR. So no, <laughs> zero chance. I haven't even played Half-Life 
2, episode 1 and 2. Half-Life games have a good set of puzzles in them, but it's usually physics puzzles. Yeah, I know that. I, I played Half-Life 1 and 2, but I've never played episodes 1 and 2. Puzzles, UI, story, monsters... Uh, level layout. I definitely felt like the monsters, even though there was no... No variety in monsters, like in Resident Evil 7. Like, the ones in this game were by far way, way scarier. Um... What would the downfalls be? Uh, janky cutscenes. Metal, me, middle, me, middle. Me, I forgot how to spell middle. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's, it's double D. There we go. Oh yeah, Easter eggs. I don't think there is any downfalls to the game. Thanks to all our families and people that have believed in us for the beginning of this incredible adventure. Thanks for playing Daymare 1998. have to do a review for this game later. Still can't count to three. Instead, Half-Life 3 and 4. We got Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and 2. Sam and Sarah. Oh, please don't tell me Sarah's gonna start walking. Yep. Flick, 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 and flicky. Well, no. The graphics look dated? I don't think so. What? Suddenly, first person? Who am I? Who am I? Gene signature confirmed. Welcome back, sir. Boot up the register. Oh, I'm, I'm Mr. Sandman. Mission report K731. Personal code FG956-5061. No. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those cleaner. involved, there's no one left. I'm the At cleaner. least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of Kay's involvement. Hexacor Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in Keen's sight. Good job, sir. Acts as the main terminal. I'm the cleaner, but I, I I don't know what I look like. Following materials archive. Evidence number one. H A F four R G zero Delta surveillance footage.
He act he reacted rather quickly considering the fact that Dude just suddenly shot. I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie, especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they. I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life, too. What's happening, one way or another, was inevitable. But at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people, the Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it, how anyone could have done it, even him, especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu, Hexacor, damn you both to hell. Oh, Christ. We're just a bunch of filthy murderers, all of us. What I wanted to say, if I 
wasn't a coward is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest with you. Beneath the city, behind your disease, lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner rather than being obliged by this tragedy, but I couldn't and wasn't ready yet. I was afraid of how it might affect us. Sorry. 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 It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies, monitoring one of our most important tests, you. For decades now, our government has been experimenting in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and Keensight is one of the most illustrious testing zones with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You, and hundreds of others like you, are the end result of these tests. And we've been tasked with keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me, because, because, I actually fell in love with you. And it wasn't just a job for me anymore. So when someone asks if I love my work, I tell them, yes. Thanks to you, I do. And maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before. And more importantly, I would never leave this place without you of my own free will, if given the choice. Hold on. I hear something. There... There's somebody out there. Evidence number four. ID tags of Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetic Supervisor, code 27. So how is Mr. Sanran related to the girl? You said daughter, right? So Sandman's daughter. The girl. The girl. The scientist that's been looking over Samuel. ID tag of Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetic Supervisor, Code 27. June 20, 1991. I finally did it. I'm finally in charge of one of the most important research studies in the country. It took years to perfect the Truman Project together with those yes men at Hexacore. Maybe longer still to convince that Washington, D.C. dinosaur Murphy to put me in charge of the whole operation due to their backwards way of thinking. I was either too young or too girly or too black, but in the end, they had no choice to recognize the crowns of my achievement. In under 30 days, I'll be uh, transferred to Keen Sight, and from what the company tells me, it'll be a one-way trip. And just maybe, that's what excites me the most. June 4th. January 4th, uh, 1992. So that's, what, like seven months later? I've only been here a few months, but I think I've already tucked myself snug as a bug into this rural community. Sometimes I feel a bit sorry for the people of Keen Sight, or maybe it'd be better to refer to them by their proper names, guinea pigs. Other, other times I envy them, and their simple small town lives filled with small town values. After all, the company ensures they're safe inside their giant petri dish closed off from all the crap of the outside world i like to think that i too have helped create a sort of paradise here or perhaps another circle of hell still not sure yet july 3rd 1993 so that's what 
like a year and four months later or more? The most difficult part of the Truman Project is officially underway, or at least in regards to my active role in the field. All the researchers stationed here must have frequent uh, contact with the subject in order to control it, and I'm no exception to the rule. Indeed, I'll have to lead by example. At any rate, tomorrow, I'll meet my special to be monitored and judging... Uh, special to be monitored. And judging from reports, it's clear that this one will possibly be the most important part in the whole study. I'll have to be on my best behavior once again. Meanwhile, I've been scratching at my arm for days just because everyone got the same chip integrated into their arm doesn't mean it's a good thing. After all, we're researchers, not the guinea pigs the government is experimenting on with the program. Unfortunately, however, there are the rules of the game and I can't back out now. January 7th, 1994, so that, what, another six, seven months later? I want to see you play this game as Luigi. Oh, Jesus, I haven't felt this good in years. The Truman Project is proceeding as planned, not to mention the experiments, too. I just can't hide my excitement thanks to the work I've been doing with my subject. That being said, this isn't exactly an official report. I could say my subject, Sam, for short. The person I've been tracking and recently approached. Uh, well, I'm starting to think something partic uh, something peculiar is happening. I know I shouldn't get this attached, but the company asked me to get closer, so... And the heart wants what the heart wants, right? Where's the harm in that? May 4th. Fourth, so like what three months later with the recent transfer of high-level personnel to the new office space atop the dam We find ourselves butting heads with the men from Hexacore's special unit mind you Hades agent Looks like rock-hard war machines who seldom interact with anyone outside the circle and the HAF pilots Seem to be normal kits despite the demanding task the company often gives them the one in particular seems to be catching the attention of all the office ladies. His name is Hayden, though everyone's been calling him Sandman after the mishap in Groom Lake. I have no idea how he made it out alive, but I'd like to know more. Yo, appreciate those bits. September 22, 1994, so another few months later. Hayden. What an extraordinary man, even in face of the difficulties he's endured, somehow I got him to open up about his past again and discovered that his wife left years ago because she couldn't bear the weight, the weight of his job. Okay. She even left him to take care of their only daughter, baby Samantha. I really feel some of connection to this man so much so in fact that I'm feeling exactly what I'm feeling for Sam how I'm going to deal with this only time will tell I should probably just concentrate on my work see I, I knew that wasn't his daughter maybe he thinks it's his daughter August 15th 1996 so like I don't know like nine months later I thought I could handle it. Instead, I wish I'd never gotten involved in this pile of poo. I've been working on the Truman Project for the company for four years now, but it looks like this isn't going to end the way I thought it would. We didn't come here to improve people's lives. We came here to test weapons of mass destruction. If that weren't bad enough, even though we've signed away our lives to, dis um, lives to these hexacore bastards with their government backing, they still won't lift a finger to help us. Any of us. Hayden told me his daughter contacted a terrible disease and requires an experimental treatment that the company just won't cover. That's why he's been so distant these past few months. I want to do something to help. I'll always feel close to him forever. In the meantime, at least some good news came from all this. Sam asked me to marry him, a beacon of hope in all the darkness that surrounds me. A reminder that there are more important things in life. Now I know whom my heart belongs to and I need to devote my life to him. I need to do my job as effectively as possible to make him feel better. March 28, 1997. So, what, another nine months later or something? 
I don't want to believe it, but Hayden asked me to meet him just outside town to reveal a scheme. There isn't much time left to save his daughter. Wait. I don't want to believe it, but Hayden asked me to meet him just outside to reveal a scheme. There isn't much time left to save his daughter, and the only way he can do it is by committing an act so utterly despicable it borders on nefarious. It seems that Koronosu, an international pharmaceutical company, made a deal with Hayden to save his daughter in exchange for the destruction of hundreds, if not thousands of lives, along with Hexacor as a whole. Worse still, it'll bring our government to its knees by revealing the truth about experiments in the American people that have been ongoing for decades. He must have lost it, completely freaked out. Nothing, not even loss of a loved one, can justify such a stupid, reckless decision. I'm pretty sure those bastards are using him. I just don't understand why the hell he doesn't see it. I need to talk some sense into him. I'm sure those are just words of a desperate father, but if he doesn't listen to reason, I'll have no choice but to report him to the company's International Affairs Department, though I don't know if I could live with what they do to him. Hmm. Does Samantha not want Hayden to reveal what she and her company has been doing just for the sake of the fact that she's working for them? I don't get birthday gifts. I don't get birthday gifts. Eight months, nine days, and 40 minutes. I don't know what that means. I mean, I don't necessarily get them either. I live alone, so... If I'm gonna get a gift on a birthday day, it'll be by myself. Most likely. Um, uh, March 28, 1997. July 14, uh, March, April, May, June, July. So like four months later. Hayden left the base and took a few days leave. Sadly, his daughter, Samantha, didn't make it. Her little heart gave out just two days ago. I feel sorry for him, but this could be a blessing in disguise. Now, he won't have any reason to enact that nefarious scheme of his from what I gear from what I gather he's got a long journey to the medical center where she was being treated though I'm sure he'll come back soon and when he does I'll be there to support him in whatever way possible so maybe that's why he came and killed her because she didn't want to help him I just got a gift it's not my birthday though Oh, that's the daughter. Fifteen deaths. Hexacor Bio Genetics Hades Division. That's the daughter. Ooh, wow. So there is definitely going to be another, another game. Uh, Custodian, uh, Minera, JS Cotadigiano, and JS Team. Interesting. So he came back to basically get back to the company that didn't want to help him to save his daughter, even though the company did is experimenting on his daughter that he probably wasn't expecting. Oh, before my birthday.